What's up, guys? It's David Miller. I am talking to you from my studio, Primordial Creative. We're in Tempe, Arizona. The weather's getting a little better over here. We're getting out with our cameras a lot more than we did during the summertime. And I want to tell you about the filters that actually stick on my cameras. These are my favorite things in the world because they do in-camera effects and they make my life easier and they really add a lot to my photography and my video work. So number one is the star filter and the star filter has little slashes on the glass that could be a grid, it could be a six pointed star so there are more like hexagon shapes but these slashes make the light turn into twinkly stars as it passes through your lens. And that might not sound like a lot, but it really gives a lot of life and energy to the light that is behind your characters. Every time I've used it and compared to a photo that didn't have the star filter but was shot in the same scenario, it was just so obvious that one really stood out from the pack and felt like it had something super special about it and the other one felt kind of uh, dead and bland. The next thing I use quite a lot is the prism filter. And like the star filter, it distorts the light as it comes through it. But the prism filter is really thick and it splits your image into however many sides the prism has. So I've seen ones that have six sides, I've seen ones that have uh, a square in the center. I've seen the Bohemian Rhapsody video, and you probably have too, where Freddie Mercury is split into many different dimensions. That's all done with the star filter on the camera. Also, one attribute I really like about it, and maybe not everybody would, but this is a very thick piece of glass, and ultimately that is going to degrade your image. It's gonna soften it, and it's gonna cause this little purple fringing on the edges of areas that are really bright. So. Some people might not like that. I think it really adds to the aesthetic of the images and it reminds me of 60s psychedelic album covers, which I'm a big fan of. I like trippy stuff. The other filters I use on a regular basis are the neutral density filters and I happen to live in the brightest state in the country and the sun is so overpowering here. We barely have any clouds that you have to do something to cut down the light as it passes through your lens. So a neutral density filter is equivalent to being sunglasses on your camera. And if you've ever seen the kinds of images where the water is rushing so fast, it looks like it's misty, it looks like it's magic, that is because of the neutral density filter. It is allowing you to shoot in slower shutter speeds in bright daylight even if I was outside in regular Arizona weather and I had my f-stop set at f22, which is a very small hole, and I had my ISO set at 100, which is the lowest it can go, two seconds exposure, which is what I need to get that misty water, is just gonna come out a white screen or at least a severely overexposed screen. So neutral density filters are sold with different levels of density and uh, the lower the number, the less dense they are. But if you put on like an ND10 filter, it's going to cut down a significant amount of light and it's gonna allow you to shoot at a much slower shutter speed if that's your desire. If you wanna shoot at a higher shutter speed and a wider aperture, that's also an option. So you can do some of those really lovely portrait effects, have that nice bokeh in the background where everything goes all smeary. You can shoot that in bright daylight, but you're gonna have to have that there neutral density filter. So guys, I gave you three filters that are my favorites. They're always in my bag, and I've always got one or the other on my camera. If you are wondering, is there something special I can do in camera that is gonna look cool, is gonna add something extra to my photography, and doesn't cost a lot, then I totally encourage you to explore the kinds of filters that are out there for your lenses. Don't just stick to the skylight and haze, and for God's sake, don't walk around without any filter on your lens at all. Uh, twice I have dropped lenses and only the filter shattered instead of something that cost 500 bucks. So take it from me, you gotta have a filter on your camera, and why not make it something that adds to your creativity?